Welcome everybody. This video will be basically an introduction to Oracle Database, how we can install it, and how we can connect to the database. So, if you've never done any database configuration or setting up, it can get pretty confusing at times, but I'm going to try to break it down so it's simple. So first, you'll need to get on a web browser, which is Google Chrome, and we're going to go to Oracle. And just go to oracle.com, and then what you can do at the top, you see downloads, hover over that, and find there's you see there's two options here Oracle database Oracle database 11g Express Edition so the way it works on here is uh, they have a primary edition that they sell that's uh, 12c and then they have an Express Edition that's 11g so it's one number back which means it, it doesn't have all of the features as the 12 which would be the uh, the most recent one but it's uh, express which means it's a smaller file size it's for smaller applications smaller purposes but best of all it is free so this is the one we're going to be using now when you get to this page there's a few things you're going to have to do you're gonna to have to click accept license agreement and by that I mean you have to read the entire thing oh it's such a good read I read it like every night all right then what you're going to do is have to figure out which operating system you will be using this server on let's click this and you'll have to probably sign in as you can see it's downloading for me but that's because I'm already signed in so you can see it's right here Oracle XE XE stands for Express Edition which is the, de the edition that we downloaded so this is a zipped folder as you can see in the little pop-up open it and I'll just click extract extract all files and my downloads are fine that's a fine place to do it so the downloads and this is gonna create a new folder with that name alright here we are so we can click this and then there's a setup.exe click that if a pop-up pops up click yes alright boom there we go it is ready to install so let's just get rid of some of this other junk so it's not so cluttered I'll probably need that later I'll leave that open then click next uh, make sure you read all that next looks good next and we're gonna make a password this is going to be kinda like the administrator password so it's like the main account that account name is actually known as system see as you can see here system something simple if you want to follow along you can put that or you can uh, use whatever you like install hmm. alright now it's um you know creating and starting service oh wow that was fast okay okay just finished so and click finish on that now after this you might be wondering how do I run the thing well let me show you click the start menu and click all programs you can look for something gold or find Oracle Database 11G Express Edition. When you click that, it's going to open up a bunch of different options. Sorry, I'm eating an apple. The first thing you're going to want to click is start database you're gonna get this little command prompt thing okay great then you can just lower that and go back to the, the same place and you're gonna click run SQL command line if you're a beginner you might not know what SQL means let me explain SQL stands for structured query language it's basically the standard language we use to communicate with databases it's kind of like how we tell people to do something in English while well, we tell the database to do something in SQL so yeah that's that's pretty simple now this is where we actually use the database and I know it doesn't look real pretty but we'll, we'll, I'll teach it a cool solution in just a minute to to make it more friendly all right one more thing if you go to all programs click this again you can click get started 
that's going to bring up a web page, right? And you can see it says 127.0.0.1. That's a loopback address, which is basically on your home uh, home computer. Then it says 8080. That's the port. If you have something such as Skype running or XAMP, uh, well, that's, that might cause issues and this might not work out right. So if that's the case, you'll need to disable those. Now this is where you can do some extra configuring of your database, but we're not going to get into super much details with all this right now. So we'll worry about that later. Just wanted to show you that. Alright, then one other thing, if you go back, click this, you can click get help and then you can click read documentation. This is where you get the official documentation for the database and it'll talk about everything you really need to know. So there's all kinds of information here you can search and so forth. So if you needed help installing you could click right here and uh, yeah, that's basically it. Now we can sign in to our account we created by saying connect and then it asks for your username and it's going to be system password whatever you put in mine was pass and it doesn't show up and press enter and it says connected now you can start doing commands that are part of the SQL language but we'll get into that later because I just want to show you how to set everything up in this video so let's move on to one other thing I wanted to show you guys go to oracle.com oh, I think it's com yeah and then go to downloads and SQL developer and then if you don't have the JDK which stands for Java development kit you are going to want to download that with the JDK so I'm on Windows 64 bit and I'll need the JDK so I'm gonna download that and I already have it downloaded so I'm gonna actually cancel that <laughs> so you run it and once again you have to extract it that's fine all right it just finished so you want to open this and they're gonna find sqldeveloper.exe and yes all right so would you like to import preferences from a previous uh, no <laughs> that's if you have a uh, previous edition of this and you want to import data from that one well then go right ahead but I don't know why you'd be watching this tutorial if you already know what you're doing so <laughs> okay so this is the main page no alright this is the main page right now I suggest before you start anything go to tools preferences and then database and then worksheet these are just a ton of settings. This is just one that I think is useful. Grid in checkerboard or zebra pattern. That makes every other line of code a little darker background, so it's really easy to follow lines across rather than just being white text, black text on a white background, I mean. Now we can put a default path for scripts if we want. So we can browse, and I'll just put mine in uh, my, my documents, create a new folder. And just name it whatever you want. Press OK. Alright, so now we need to connect to a database. By the way, the thing we're running right now is to make the database a little more user friendly than just this. So that's what the purpose of this is. So we need to connect to a database by pressing that little plus. Just click it. And this will come up. You can name it whatever you want. Username. Hmm. That would be system, password, pass. Localhost, 1521XE, looks good. And then you can click connect. All right, and there we have it. You can see it right there. And if you give it just a minute, it will open. So we officially are, com we've completed our task of setting up the server and connecting it with Oracle SQL Developer. And that gives us the ability to start running queries on this database which is basically running commands and doing more things I wanted to teach this early on in the series so those of you guys who like to tinker around with things you could start getting um, used to the layouts and the buttons and 
typing things out on your own rather than just writing it out on paper if I teach you know what I mean and I'll be going back and forth from the chalkboard to this and we'll be learning both concepts and practical code so thank you guys and be sure to subscribe <laughs> be sure to subscribe and support me on patreon thank you and goodbye